few months ago, we bought a 110-year-old house in Cape Town, South Africa. It's a space with a lot of charm and character, and we were excited to transform it into a place we can call home. And after a chaotic four months and a lot of hard work, oh, that's gross. we are starting to approach the finish line. And one of the last holdouts is our sunroom, or solarium. It's a small space that sits right off the kitchen, and it's a room that up until now has been kind of neglected. It's been the repository for all of our painting supplies, and trash, and junk, and just things that haven't been able to fit in the house just yet. But that changes today, because today we are transforming this room. It's gonna involve some things I've never done before, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, let's get started. As we've gotten closer to finishing the house, we've left this room to last because we knew it was going to require the most DIY. And there's no better time to fix up a room than before you fill it with your stuff. A problem that will become apparent later in the video. You wanna know a secret? I weirdly love vacuuming. It's like my version of raking a zen garden. All right, so the floors are finished now, and this was the easy part, but I have to know, what is this little trap door down here? I haven't actually opened this yet. Oh, it's, it's kind of wet down there, which that, what, cannot be good. It smells like damp and moist. I mean, it's all concrete down there. Um, well, when the maintenance person comes over tomorrow, I'm gonna have to ask him about this. Until then, let's just close this trap door. It has been a week since I mopped and cleaned this floor and I haven't made any progress, which is a problem because I thought I had a week to finish this and actually I only have 24 hours now because in the next 24 hours, Stacia's family is arriving and I want this to be done. So today we're sanding and we're finishing this thing. I have never sanded anything in my entire life and Stacia has sanded a ton of things. So Stacia, how does this work? Mansplain right. this to me. I'll mansplain it to you. This is a sander. Okay. Yeah, just what that's gonna do is lift this part up. We're just gonna turn this into an ASMR channel. She's an idiot. She cut it too short. No, I can't show this. <laughs> wow. I was using you as the expert. No, I am the expert. Yeah, you can't have two idiots on this channel. I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Uh, don't worry, another one. Oh. This is a dumb question, but when I'm sanding, is it slow? Is it fast? No, it's just like, uh, like this. Uh, okay. Some spots are, uh, I want to get that on the uh. All right, take one last good look at this floor here before it gets sanded. Say goodbye, bye, old looking floor. One of the most enjoyable things about redoing our house has been seeing the evolution. Whether it's painting a wall, adding furniture, or sanding down some wood, being able to roll up our sleeves and transform a room within a day or two has been very rewarding. <sighs> All right. I have never been, I've never been a DIY type person, but this is actually really fun. All right, next piece of sandpaper. <sighs> Woo, I'm sweating, but I think we're done. Now we just need to clean this up and then I think we'll be ready to start wa white washing. Just start white washing. Wow. Washing, white washing. We'll be ready to start white washing. White. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This <laughs> is <laughs> my third take doing this. We're ready to start white washing. That, we're, that, we're ready. <laughs> Actually, while I've been sanding, what have you been up to? Everything. I have been decorating. So I went to a bookstore. It was a thrift bookstore and bought a ton of books. Now it just like looks really cool. So I'm filling all of our bookshelves with our knickknacks and then also some like super dope books. Gulliver's Travels. Secrets of South Africa. Wine Guide to South Africa. And now we got so many cool books from this thrift store. Yeah. Yep, the house is coming together piece by piece. Okay, so here is the paint we are using. It is a matte white wood floor sealer. Originally, we thought that you could just take a water-based white paint, add water to it to dilute it, and then paint the floor to get that whitewashed look. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's not how you do that. You gotta use something like this, and then you add as many coats as you want until the floor looks as white as you want. Let's go.
Okay, I just realized that I'm gonna have to start painting this floor in a different way than I've been painting it so far. And that's because as I've been painting row by row by row, it's been leaving a line that shows the overlap of the paint, which I don't want. But so far, I think it's looking really good. As I finished more of the floor, a thought started to creep into my head. Had I made the right decision with this paint? It had been a good idea in theory, but as it became a reality, I was left second-guessing myself. Okay, I need to get your honest thoughts here. What do you think of this? I'm not sure if I like it. I think it needs another coat because it looks I think a little we, sad we, right now. Yeah, I think we need to go more white or I sand it all off. I agree. With the sanding it off or? No, with one or the other. Like we either go all white or... All right, well, we're gonna figure this out and we'll get back to you. Yeah, we'll report. It has been basically a month since I started this project and as you can tell, I didn't meet the 24 hour deadline that I was going for. Stacia's family has come and gone and over the three weeks that they were here, it's given me a lot of time to think about what we're gonna do with this space. When we saw the whitewash, we realized that it gave this room a kind of beachy vibe. That is not at all what we want for this space. So we're gonna sand it all back down. I'm gonna to go to the hardware store, try out a few different colors of varnish to see how dark we wanna go. And then we're gonna varnish it all. Let's jump back in. This is, this sucks. This is grueling. Man, we really screwed ourselves with this white, eh? Yeah, we really uh, did not think this through. Yeah, we should have just done a test patch, eh? Yeah, we should have done a test patch. <laughs> Okay, I have finished this right here and then a single line right there and you know what? I'm tired of sanding so I'm assuming you guys are tired of watching me sanding. So I'm just gonna skip to the part where all of this is sanded and then we get to the varnishing because this is gonna take forever. I'm detailing this journey on Instagram and more than one follower pointed out that I needed a bigger sander. While I normally say that size doesn't matter, when it comes to sanders, it's the only thing that matters. I ended up getting a larger belt sander and it was a game changer. What had taken me a full day to do, this new sander could do in 30 minutes. But I wasn't the only one working on the house. While I was in sanding purgatory, Stasia was also fighting the good fight. Stasia! Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, my purgatory is this bathroom. I painted the walls green. This is all tile for those of you who can't remember. Whoa. Yeah. And then I've actually decided to paint the tiles in the shower of white. So I'm using a special like oil-based paint to do so. And I have to cure for 24 hours and I have to leave it for six days before showering. But I'm hoping this is the last coat. But It's a night and day difference. For reference, this is what it looked like before. And this is where we're at today. Yeah. Yeah. Come in there. It looks so good. The sanding is done. I repeat, the sanding is done and the floor looks so good. And the color is actually this really nice red rich color, which makes me nervous because of the whole whitewashing mishap. I don't wanna mess up again when it comes to the varnishing. So we're gonna do some testing first. So what we have done is I've painted across, well now we're doing across four here. Each one of these woods is kind of a different color and so we'll get to see how it looks across all four of these colors here. So now we wait and uh, see how it dries. Okay, so our test patch has dried here. It's been about an hour and a half and I really like it. I think it looks really good. I think it enhances the color of the wood without being too dark, which is what we're going for. So I'm gonna roll out a first coat across the entire floor here. All right, 
right, here it is. The floor is finally finished. We ended up going with two coats overall, which I'm really happy with. But what you're not seeing, or what I didn't show you, is that after the first coat, I had a little bit of a freak out. And that's because when I did the sanding, Pardon my language, but I did a shit job. I rushed it all and I was very impatient and that led to a lot of divots and grooves being left into the floor that I should have buffed out, but I didn't. And so when I did the first coat of varnish, all those divots and grooves came to light. So what I ended up doing was doing a light re-sanding of the entire floor with a very fine grit sandpaper. And then I did another coat of varnish. And you know what? I think it looks pretty good. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. I can still see some of the imperfections, but the couch is gonna cover that. There's gonna be a rug here that also covers a lot of that. So most of my crimes will be hidden. Overall, I think it looks pretty dang good. And to be honest, I just don't have any more time to spend on this thing. So we're done. We're done.